Hello everyone, welcome to the Flow Zone instructional series. In this video, we will show you how to replace the diaphragm pump in your sprayer. Let's get started. For this video, you will need a cup of hot water, a knife, a flathead screwdriver, and a Phillips head screwdriver. First, remove the battery from the sprayer. Then, using the Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screws securing the cover plate. It may be helpful to use a flashlight to locate the screw in each crevice. Loosen the strain relief fitting and gently set the cover plate aside. Locate the hose clamps on either side of the pump. Using the flathead screwdriver, loosen both hose clamps. Pull the outlet hose off of the pump barb and set it aside. Make sure not to misplace the hose clamp. The inlet hose will be removed later. At this point, you may want to remove the circuit board from the cover plate to give yourself more room to work. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the four screws securing the diaphragm pump to the sprayer. Using the knife, carefully slice the protective tape around the pump's electrical connector. Disconnect the circuit board and inlet hose and remove the old pump from the sprayer tank. Place the new pump in position on the sprayer, but do not secure it in place yet. Slide the inlet hose back onto the pump barb. Ensure the hose clamp is positioned properly at the hose to pump connection. Connect the circuit board to the replacement pump and route the wires underneath the pump. Use the four screws from the original pump and a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the replacement pump to the tank. In order to make it easier to reattach the outlet hose to the pump, you may dip the end of the hose into a cup of hot water for 10 to 15 seconds. This allows the hose material to soften and become more malleable. Slide the hose back onto the pump barb, making sure the hose clamp is in the correct position. Once both hoses have been reattached, tighten both hose clamps over the connection point using the flathead screwdriver. With a small amount of water in the sprayer, place a battery into the sprayer and turn it on. Carefully inspect the pump connections for leaks. If you see any leaking, tighten the hose clamp further. If the sprayer functions normally, slide the circuit board into the intended slot and reattach the cover plate of your sprayer. Thanks for watching. If you're still experiencing issues with your sprayer, please reach out to our live support team. We are available Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. You can contact us through live chat on our website, fcspray.com, call us at 803-339-2500, or email us at support at wessel.com. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our channel for other instructional videos and flows on content.